I know they're jealous of me. I don't blame them. No one wants to live here. It's funny though, now that I can escape, I'm bloody scared to death. Nine months? That's a long time. What if I don't make any friends? What if I get seasick or food poisoning? Or get lost and have to live with a tribe of Eskimo and never come home again? I know I'm being stupid, but my mind's gone haywire. Deep down, I'm a, a panicker, I am. And I know it's what I want, but in reality, it's frightening. Leaving it all. Your mum, your dad, your mates. I am excited as well, don't get me wrong. I wouldn't forego the opportunity, it's a bloody chance of a lifetime. Travel, freedom, celebrity. Oh yeah, I've definitely got to go. But the actual job, I wouldn't tell the others, is mostly what I'm apprehensive about. I mean, I have got to lose some weight first. Some of those costumes are so small and sequins and everything. And, well, there is some topless, um, but it's classy. It's all part of the dancing. It's just getting over it that first time, isn't it? And then I'm, I'm sure I'll be all right. I mean, to be honest, it took me about four days to, to get them out when we went to Ibiza. And even then, I just laid on my front. <laughs> like I said, I'm sure it'll be fine. It's the excitement. It makes you nervous. And I don't know black from white me, but I'm sure it'll be brilliant. I'm sure it will. The world is my oyster. That's it, isn't it? What do you do when a dream comes true? What do you dream then? <laughs>